Welcome to Stuff What's Explained, a channel that explores events, projects, programs, and activities that are happening in different parts of the world, uh, but mainly we focus with what is happening in Africa. Uh, if it's your first time here, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel, watch various videos that we have done on different topics, leave a comment, like, share uh, the videos, in today's video, we'll be talking, uh, uh, we'll be, rather we'll be giving an update on uh, Nyerere, or Julius Nyerere Hydroelectric Power Project, which is being constructed in Tanzania. Uh, the construction of the Tanzania's Julius Nyerere Hydropower Project has gone a notch higher. This follows the opening of the diversion channel that is supposed to direct water into the dam for the purposes of generating electricity. When this dam is completed, it will allow uh, Tanzania to close the gap between those with electricity and those who have no access. As of year 2021, Tanzania total electricity supply was 1,605.86 megawatts, with peak electricity demand in the country expected to rise. Uh, by 25, 2025, this is expected to be 4,000 uh, megawatts. So to help Tanzania meet this demand, the country is targeting to have a installed capacity of 10 gigawatts by year 2025. And this dam is very crucial in helping the country to reach uh, those targets. When you compare Tanzania with other East African states, especially Kenya, Tanzania lags behind in power production. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics quarter 3 results of 2022, the total electricity generated in the country stands at uh, 3,286 megawatts. Uh, geothermal installed capacity of electricity uh, is at 863.1 megawatts. Solar accounts for 172.5 megawatts, while uh, hydro capacity is 838.1 megawatts and thermal capacity is 677.8 megawatts and total effective capacity of electricity in Kenya is 2857.6 uh, megawatts in Uganda the uh, electricity regulatory authority era estimates that as at December 2021 installed capacity in Uganda was 1,346 megawatts uh, with a demand uh, of 800 uh, megawatts. That leaves a surplus of 546 megawatts. With the completion of this, or with the operation of this dam, Tanzania will be able to meet its local demand and also sell some surplus. The Julius Nyerere hydropower plant will have a, 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 a production capacity of 2,115 megawatts. Uh, with this, the country will be able to meet its power demand, which stands at, uh, at around 1, 000, I mean 1,700 megawatts. The dam is being built at a cost of uh, uh, 6.55 trillion and Tanzanian shillings, which is equivalent to 2.77 billion. Tanzania government has already paid uh, 4.5 trillion Tanzania shillings or equivalent to 1.92 billion dollars to the two contractors who are doing uh, the dam that is Egyptian uh, consortium it is a consortium of two Egyptian companies Egyptian uh, or Egyptian con contractors El Sewedi Electric Limited and Arab contractors the dam is 131 meters high and has a uh, length of 1,025 meters. When talk of this diversion channel which has been uh, operationalized, it is crucial because the volume of water diverted into the reservoir will help in the generation of electricity. Uh, with the opening of this diversion channel, this is a significant step in filling the water into the dam so that uh, power can start uh, being generated. When uh, it's complete, the 
Julius Nere hydropower plant will be the largest hydropower project in East Africa. We have uh, uh, a similar project which is being done but larger than this in Ethiopia, the Grand Resistance Dam. This dam has already started producing power and uh, this year it will be filled for the fourth time. Uganda also has a, an ongoing hydropower project, the 600 uh, megawatts Karuma hydropower uh, dam. And it's lit, uh, this dam is slated to be fully operational by June 20, uh, 2023 after a delay of over three years. Like Julius Nyerere and GAD, Karuma uh, dam will be switched uh, on in phases. As we speak, the Julius Nyerere dam hydro, uh, hydropower dam is, uh, is uh, almost 80% 80 complete. The main body construction along the uh, Rufiji River is complete. The project was initially scheduled to be completed in June 2022, but uh, due to some issues, supply issues, and COVID-19, it has delayed. So, apart from generating electricity, the project will also have other benefits such as control of frequent flooding along River Rufiji. It will also boosts tourism and has uh, since it has been built in Julius Nyerere National Park, where this river, Refugee River, river tra, tra, I mean, passes through. Uh, with completion of this project, Tanzania will enter uh, the list of countries which have excess power. Uh, it will be able to sell this power to neighboring countries such as Kenya and Uganda and others. It's a crucial project uh, because it is also expected to supply power uh, reliable power to the SDR, the electric uh, train, which will be uh, perhaps start operations uh, later this year. So this is a very crucial project and its completion is uh, marks an important step uh, to Tanzania. We'll be updating you on uh, the progress of this project in our later videos. So thank you for watching this video to this point. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so and also watch other videos that you have done on the same project and, and others. And uh, probably you can leave a comment on your thoughts about these projects. So thank you.